That's right, Random Rooster is up, the sun is up, and now we are going to read about it. <laughs> because you don't know how much we get from the sun, do you? You're about to. Has any grown-up ever asked you, where do you get all that energy? I bet you have heard that a billion times. Energy is what you need to run around, jump, climb, play, shout. Energy is what you run out of when you get tired. Energy is what makes things move. It makes machines do their work. It gives us heat and light. Toasters and TV sets and computers run on a type of energy called electricity. Now, where do you get your energy? Not electricity, right? You don't plug into a wall. You get it from the food you eat. Much of what you eat is plant life. From plants, we get fruits, vegetables, and the wheat, corn, or other grains from which breads and cereals are made and pizza crusts. Plants themselves need food to live and grow. Did you think about the plants needing food? Aha! Uh -huh. From the simplest blade of grass to the tallest tree, each plant makes its own food. What? You're saying that there are chefs in those blades of grass? That's exactly what I'm saying. A plant makes its food out of water and air. Ah, those are the two magical ingredients. But something else is needed to turn water and air into food for a plant. Is that where the chef comes in for the grass? Maybe so. What is needed is energy. This energy comes from oh, the sun. It is in every beam of sunlight that shines down on earth. And without the sun's energy, plants could not grow and you would have nothing to eat. What? But what about meat, milk, eggs, and fish? Don't those come from animals? Well, yes, they do. They come from animals that eat the plant life. Think of the cows grazing on grass. So everything depends on the sun growing the grass, the grass feeding the cows, the cows feeding you. The sun's energy works inside a plant to make food for the plant. And as this happens, the plant releases a little bit of gas called oxygen in the air. Most of the oxygen in the air around us comes from plants in this way. If there were no oxygen in the air, <gasps> we couldn't breathe. So every breath you take, every bite of food you make and eat depends on energy from the sun. You even use energy that came from the sun way back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. I mean, old energy from, from dinosaur times? How is that even possible? Aha! Uh -huh. Think about this. Great forests of plant life grew on this energy from the sun. Then, over a long, long time, the plants were buried and slowly changed into coal or petroleum or natural gas. Cars, trucks, and buses run on the energy in gasoline, which comes from petroleum. Houses and other buildings may be heated by the energy in coal or natural gas. And whether you walked to school today or rode a car or the bus, energy from the sun helped you get there. Where do you get all that energy? From the sun. No wonder you have so much of it. And now you know how to answer them when they ask you where you get all your energy. And here we go, just a few things that benefit from the sun, the grain and the cows and the plant life and the milk. So many things all having to do with the sun. And now you know a little bit more about that big superstar up in the sky. <laughs> and Random Rooster, big fan of the sun, especially early mornings. <laughs> well, he's gone, so so am I. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time. Subscribe.